Henry and the fucking rain. The rain had been stronger than usual on the island of Sodor. All the engines had to be very careful as the rails were slippery and wet. Parts of the line were flooded, causing the trains to run late. The passengers didn't like that at all. You suck, said one of them. Piss off, said Thomas. It's not fair, muttered Henry one morning. They should appreciate that we're still running at all. Ungrateful shits, added Gordon. Saves them right for how they treat us. Well, well, I think it's nice, said Percy. People always look so excited whenever I enter the station now. That's because they think you're a passenger train, grumbled Gordon. Well, yes, but I still like the attention, peeped Percy. Henry hated the rain most of all. The passengers would always look so crossly at him as he pulled into the station. And because the trains weren't running to their usual schedule, they were often packed and heavy. Shit! The coaches would say as their doors finally slammed shut. During the journey, the passengers would complain further. Fuck this, they'd say. This cop smells like dog shit, shouted one. This would never happen in Chuggington, said another. Henry was glad when they reached the final station. On his way back, Henry thought he could teach the passengers a lesson. He thought about stopping in a tunnel, uh, but then he'd remembered that he'd already done that once, and if his idol Madonna had taught him anything, it's that he should be a bad bitch, but also that no one likes a one-trick pony. Oh, I know, that'll show them. As he came closer to the first station, instead of slowing down, Henry started to pick up speed. Slow down, shouted his driver. Fuck you, tooted Henry. The driver tried to put the brakes on, but Henry was going too fast. His brake block screaming, Henry skidded through the station. Jesus Christ, shouted the passengers as they covered their ears in agony. At last, Henry came to a stop outside the station. How do you like that, you twats? Huffed Henry. Well, now you've gone and fucking done it, replied the driver. You've probably ruined your brake blocks. Now these people will have to wait even longer. Henry was pleased. Soon a bus arrived to take the people to the next station. Bus wanker! shouted Henry. Later that day, the fat controller came to the shed to rant and rave at Henry. Henry didn't mind, as he had heard it all before, and he knew that the real reason the fat controller was angry was because his wife was having an affair with Toby's fireman. Henry closed his eyes as he felt the rain starting to leak through the shed roof. He was soon fast asleep, knowing that while he was sure to be punished for his actions at a later time, at least now he had some nice passenger-free days at the works to look forward to. Mm -hmm.